In my opinion, this is the best drum machine under $200. Hey, how's it going, everybody? Welcome to Freebeat, where I post new music-related content every single day. So if that sounds good to you, hit that subscribe button, ring that notification bell. Today's patron shout-out goes to Damien Sailor. Thank you so very much for the support. Let's get started. So this is the Korg Volca drum. And like I just said, in my opinion, I think this is the best drum machine under 200 US dollars. Now I've actually gone on record in the past as saying that I thought the PO32 Tonic was the best drum machine under, I believe I said 500 US dollars when combined with the Microtonic VST software, which allows you to make your own sounds for the tonic. And uh, well, I have to admit that the Volca drum has dethroned the tonic in my mind. The Volca drum is basically a hardware version of the wonderful Microtonic software. So if you are looking for a VST, uh, go ahead and pick up Microtonic. Uh, but for hardware, this is the drum machine to go to uh, if you are a fan of those kind of sounds. Speaking of those sounds, this is a digital drum machine. So it is not an analog drum machine, nor does it even try to be that. So if you're looking for those classic analog drum sounds, you're not going to find them here. Of course, this is a Korg Volca, so you do get all of the standard Korg Volca features, including sync in, sync out, the ability to power it with either uh, some AA batteries or wall power, which I'm using right now. You get a standard 8th inch headphone out. You get 5 pin MIDI in with two different MIDI play modes uh, on this uh, digital drum synth here. You can actually have single channel or multi channel, which is really cool. It allows you to sequence the six different parts. Uh, we'll get to that in just a minute uh, with the model cycles or model samples or any sort of multi channel drum uh, controller. Really, really cool. Or if you have a single channel drum controller, uh, you can also put all six parts on one channel, so very versatile. It's got its internal sound engine, a little bit of uh, effects, if you will, kind of. The Volca drum handles that differently, and then it has the built-in Volca sequencer as well. And in my opinion, this is the easiest of the Volca sequencers to use. It also comes in at 149, nope, sorry. The price has been raised. It's now $169.99 US, so uh, all the Volcas, it looks like, did go up about $20 or so, uh, well, you know, it's happening all over the place with just about every piece of gear, so we probably should have expected it. That is what it is. I still think it's an incredible value for that 169 US dollars, and that's because of the sound engine. The sound engine in this thing is nuts. So you have six different parts that make up a drum kit. There's an example of a kit, uh, six very different sounds. Each of those sounds is actually made up of two different layers. And for each of those layers individually, you can select the sound source, the modulation type, the amp envelope, the level, the pitch, the attack, the release, the modulation amount, and the modulation rate. And again, that's for each of the two layers, which we switch between with this button right here. Right now I'm controlling layer one, Right now I'm controlling layer two, and right now I'm controlling both layers at the same time. On top of that, you get what they call the waveguide resonator, which is kind of this delay effect uh, that can provide some really crazy uh, variations and uh, just some crazy effects to your sounds. It's nuts. And the waveguide resonator can actually switch between both tube and string modes as well. Really cool. Each of the six parts have their own send control to that waveguide. And from there, you can control the decay, the body, and the tuning of the waveguide. And there's more ways you can affect both layers at the same time. So when it comes to processing each sound, each part, as they call it, you also have bit reduction, you also have fold, drive, pan, gain, and on top of that, you can actually turn on pitch quantization. So you can actually sequence notes. You can have it free-flowing like it is now, 
or you can turn on pitch quantization, like I said, and sequence actual notes. And like I said, you get six different parts, and each part is made up of two of those layers that we just talked about. So you can see that the sound design capabilities are basically endless on this device. And since it's digital, we can easily store 16 different kits. On top of that, a uh, fellow YouTuber, Oscillator Sync, has made a custom editor for the Volca drum that allows you to change all of these parameters on the computer if you don't want to, you know, scroll through everything with these knobs and do uh, not a ton of menu diving, but there is some menu diving. You can do it all on the computer. Everything is presented to you in a nice, clean interface. And you can load in custom kits and patches. It's really cool. We haven't even looked at the sequencer yet, which, in my opinion, is one of the easiest, if not the easiest, Volca sequencer to use. Simply select the sound you want, turn on Edit Step, and enter your steps into the 16-step grid. You'll probably notice that our snare drum is not actually playing on two and four, and that's because the Volca drum uses choke groups. So we can go into a choke group here, and we can actually determine what sounds cancel other sounds out. Really cool. The Volca drum sequencer also adds probability into the mix. So let's go ahead and add this random little bass uh, note here. I can hold down this step and use the level knob to change the probability that that note will trigger, which is just so crazy on a device this inexpensive. Uh, this is a feature normally found in like electron groove boxes and much higher end, uh, you know, drum machines. Let's go ahead and change the pitch of this drum here, which yes, you can change the parameters simply by holding on a step and then editing the parameter, as long as edit step mode is on. As you can see there, just playing with the waveguide knobs and the send uh, can really give you some crazy results, and it's sort of a happy accidents machine. However, if you want to go further into the happy accidents mentality, it also has a randomize function. And there's actually two different ways it can randomize things. The first way is by randomizing the pattern that is actually sequenced. So let's take our hi-hat. I'm going to hold function and press randomize pattern. You can see the steps changing. Pretty cool. Now the second way you can randomize things is actually by randomizing the selected layer for the sound that you're on. So remember we've got six parts, or sounds, and each of those sounds are comprised of two different layers. So, let's pick this sound right here. Let's go ahead and select layer one and then randomize it. Completely different. Let's randomize layer two now. That was miserable. I'm not even gonna play you the sound that just played because it was so high pitched and uh, my ears are ringing. 
Okay, let's select layers one and two and randomize both at the same time. One more time. <laughs> there we go. Let's uh, add some release. Bring the pitch down. Send it to the waveguide. And let's go ahead and sequence it. Uh, let's just do it randomly. There we go. It's amazing what this Volca can do. There's just a seemingly endless array of features, and uh, I do not know how this thing is so slept on, because for the price, you're not going to find a drum machine with more features, especially in a hardware form. So yeah, in my opinion, this is the most feature-rich and, uh, you know, just straight up best drum machine under 200 US dollars. I haven't even touched on uh, a lot of the features that it has. Uh, there's just so much to this awesome little box. It sounds amazing. Creating sounds on it is great, especially if you use Oscillator Sync's editor. You can really dive into it and pinpoint things. And it's also just a lot of fun to mess around with. Uh, you know, like we've been doing here. It's got sync in and out because it's a Volca, so you can pair it with the pocket operators. It's got onboard swing too, not sure if I mentioned that. So I do hope you found this video informative or at least entertaining. Sorry if my voice was a little hard to handle in this one. I'm kind of fighting a little bit of a cold right now. If you did like the video, be sure to leave a like on it. If not, you can always leave a dislike. That's okay too. Doesn't hurt my feelings, just makes me try that much harder next time. Either way, be sure to hit that subscribe button, ring that notification bell. Thank you all so very much for being here. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye.